Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to show you how you can set up a static IP address in Kali Linux. So let's get started before wasting a lot of time. So the first thing is that we have to find out the default gateway of uh, the router that your computer is receiving the IP. So simply type IP and dash and R. Uh, it's going to show the IP route. So you can see that the default gateway is 192.168 and 0 and 1. And the port that is using it is the Ethernet port 0. And besides, the IP address is 192.168.0 and 105. So this is the IP address. However, if you are still not convinced or besides you want to see the uh, subject mask and the other details, you can just simply uh, type uh, if config. And then press enter and a bit scroll up you will see the full detail so here you can see that it is the inet uh, in other words the ip address is 192.168.0 and 105 and the subnet or the net mask is 255.255.255 and 0. so these are basically the information that we need to set up the static ip address inside Kali linux so for now i have to go i'm going to close the terminal and then right click on the network here uh, sorry right click right click and choose edit connections and from there you have to choose wire connection one and then click on the settings icon and here you can see that the editing uh, the basically the advanced network management has been opened go to the ipv4 settings and from there you have to change the method from automatic dhcp to the manual and from that uh, click on add and now add the ip address 192.168.0. Uh, how about 112 now you can you can see that if the ip is available the color will be growing if it was not available uh, basically there will be another color basically red will be available there okay the net you know, which is basically the 24 character it is still totally okay but we, you can still put 225 sorry 255 and again for the third one and finally zero and you can see that that is still available and remember that you have to put the same default gateway that you are receiving from the your router uh, 192.168.0.1 Okay, now you can see that that has been added. And besides, remember that uh, if you are in uh, in an IT environment where the basically they have configured servers for the DNS, and besides for they have a domain, then you can insert them here. Although if uh, you are testing it in a local computer, you your uh, basically you do not have a DNS server or a domain specifically uh, for the server, then do not insert anything else because uh, you are cutting your connection to the network and to put it simply you won't Google anything uh, Without them. So you'll have to put these two empty as I am doing so and then click save Okay, now you can see that uh, the settings have been applied if I have to go ahead and open the terminal and I have to type uh, if config and then press enter the IP has not been changed because uh, it requires a reboot of the operating system so here you can see that it is still the same IP with the same subnet mask or the uh, yep net mask so click here and then choose restart and wait a moment until uh, we can see insert your username and password So basically here we are in the uh, Kali Linux window. So open terminal and type the same if config. Now the IP must be changed to 112. Okay, now you can see that the IP has been changed and now we have a static IP address for the Kali Linux. Uh, and besides, uh, if you are thinking that you want to set up these process, everything with the uh, terminal, there is also a method but unfortunately most of the commands that i search on the web that i found them they are not working very well so uh, in the end i found this uh, post inside uh, sorry i'm writing this post currently uh, these commands are working and remember that if uh, these are basically regarding to the uh, server so do not insert it there so here you can see that uh, these commands have totally worked here except for the last section which I did configure it a little, 
wrong so everything has been set up here and it is totally working so you can also follow these two commands to set up uh, a static ip address inside the linux kali linux and besides uh if you are using ubuntu unfortunately the if config command is not going to work because for that you'll have to use the net plan which i was uh, planning to use it inside this post but i saw that the article will be a lot long so i'll have to remove the uh, other parts so uh, for now you'll have to use you'll have to go on with use the same method the graphical user interface inside the call linux to set up a static ip address so have a nice day and goodbye and i'll meet you guys in the next video